Hey Sebastian. Hey Matthias. Do you know where we'll be in a little over four months? Oh yeah. Cool. I know. You want to tell them? Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay, after the intro. Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Your Underwater Films here on the channel with the awesome Sebastian and myself. And you might have guessed it, you might have not, but in a little over four months, two of us will be going to lead a group trip together with our friends from Divers Ready, with James and Karina. Where are we going? We are going to Bali. And after that, we go in one week on a liverboard to Komodo. That's absolutely right. Why are we telling you this? Well, because we have two last spots on that group trip available. If you're interested in joining us and getting some first-hand tuition and some first-hand coaching in the field of underwater videography, then uh, click the link down in the video description, which will bring you to the trip brochure. Have a look at it. And then if it appeals to you, send us an email to contact at MatthiasLieber.com to sign up for this awesome trip. You excited? Absolutely, yeah. You don't really look excited. Oh, that's Come me. on, be excited. Yay! Okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> practice. We'll practice a little more. But back to the topic of today's video. Okay. What were you going to say? Well, I would just want to say I know something you are excited about. Oh, tell me, please. Why well, I want to say Die Fork. Oh, yes, I'm very excited <laughs> about see? Die Fork. And as it just <laughs> happens, Die Fork is, of course, the sponsor of today's video as well as the entire series reviewing your underwater films. Die Fork, the first and only manufacturer who uh, was able to produce a touchscreen membrane on the housing for any smartphone really out there. So you can use your smartphone in the exact same way underwater as you can do on land. And this has changed the way how so many people are taking photos and videos underwater dramatically in the past what has it been, a year and a half, two years since they've came out with their C-Touch 4 Max underwater smartphone housing. As always, Difog is not just sponsoring this video here, but Difog is also supplying every one of you guys a extra 6% discount on your next order from the Difog shop. The only thing you need to do is either use the link down in the video description below or use the coupon code Matthias Libo at checkout to receive the extra 6%. Thank you so much, Die Fork, for sponsoring this video and also for supplying this awesome discount to our viewers. All right. And now, back to you, my friend. Yeah, I want to see if Jonas, this is the one who sent us the video to Ooh. review today, nice. is as well as you were on fire for Die Fork when he edited and filmed his video. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, excited to see that too. So tell us a little bit about Jonas. Yeah, so Jonas is um, actually is Jonas Fries Patterson from Denmark. And he was filming with his GoPro Hero 10 and two backscatter lamps in um, Playa del Carmen. And Did then, you say lamps or lights? <laughs> Did I say lamps? I think you said lamps. <laughs> Most probably I said lamps, yeah. And probably. I mean lights. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you make yourself sound like an amateur. <laughs> The lambs. <laughs> All right. So he meant he meant lights, not lambs. Not we're not talking about the animal. We're talking about the thing that you need to, you know, make your images bright. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, I don't want to well, know. Actually, <laughs> actually, he was filming in Pl as I said in Playa del Carmen, um, and as well, and uh, on um, in the Sonotis. All right. So, so we got two different, two, yeah, different types of uh, footage. Okay. Cool. Anything else we need to know? Um, well, I think that's uh, that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's dive into Jonas's video and see what he's prepared for us. Mm. Good old Playa del Carmen. Ooh, what a nice transition. 
GoPro. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Jonas. Thank you so much for this submission. How did you like that? I liked it really much. And the, the, the thing which pops into my mind is, come on, was that a GoPro? <laughs> you see it, you see it, just to get back to it, you see it on, on the surface shots and on, and, and on several other shots during the video that it is a GoPro. But like there, are, there are shots in there, which are like really wow. He pushed that GoPro to its limits and in a good way. In a very good way, yeah. yeah. Especially like the very high dynamic, high contrast situations in the Sonatas where uh, you have a very bright background and you were able to record it in a way so that the blacks, the dark parts are really black and the background is not blown out. And that's quite unusual. Normally that's quite difficult to achieve with a GoPro unless you dial in either a exposure compensation um, or you, you just do some manual settings in there. Um, but then you would have had to do this for the entire dive because you can't really do this underwater um, unless you have different presets that you can just change in between um but yeah i was very impressed with that too i think that yeah, considering this was a gopro from what we know there's some like even if it wasn't the gopro there's some stunning shots but even yeah. more knowing that this was taken with a gopro which in certain parts i was doubting a little bit myself too but uh we're just gonna believe you here Jonas, that this was taken with a gopro and uh, kudos for um creating such amazing imagery using a GoPro. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, do you want to continue or should I? Please go ahead. All right. Then I've got a couple of things that I'd like to mention as well here. Um, apart from obviously seeing these nice shots being taken like with your GoPro, what I've also enjoyed a lot is uh, the stability of your footage. I think that you've created some really nice stable footage. Uh, whether that is uh, has been achieved in camera or in post-production, it doesn't really matter too much because the end result is what matters. And that looked very, very nice. I really enjoyed that you were having a lot of interactions with divers and your fellow uh, travel companions um, in the film. So that was actually really nice. Uh, the framing of your shots was really good, um, especially in the cenotes, the second part, that I, I liked it a lot with the light play and how you were composing and framing your imagery. That was really, really nice. And I also think that the color grading was fairly consistent. And now I'm talking, let's, let's leave the first part with the bull sharks aside. I'm just talking about the second part, the cenotes, that was really nice and consistent. Obviously, it's easier in an environment like the Cenotis where the main source of light is the artificial light that you bring with you. So it's always going to be the same color temperature and you can work much easier with that. But nevertheless, you've done a good job in, in making them appear very similar. Also, in terms of the exposure, uh, the contrast, it looked very natural looking at those, um, at those shots. So I really enjoyed that. 
what have you, you no no i'm i'm done with like the things that i really liked about the film and i'd like to hear your thoughts on if there is anything that i've well, missed I, no i think i i totally agree on on you know, everything you said i i just want to mention i liked as well the sound design and the kind of music at the beginning it's like mm -hmm. uh yeah it, it was like it created a really nice atmosphere you mean right at the beginning like the like, like from the bull the, sharks yeah from the just not if it's matching or not it's more like mm -hmm. the the with the music and the sound design and then going into the sonotas that created a nice atmosphere i'm really to be honest i'm not sure if it was the sound design continuing with the sonotas i think it stopped at at one part but i'm not 100 mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. i try to remember now if i, I was watching or, or came paying attention to 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 other parts and i'm i'm not sure if it was at the end as well um if it wasn't i would keep it up yeah because it, yeah, the whole atmosphere created was very nice. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, talking about improvements. Um, first of all, I wouldn't use the GoPro for so many surface shots because, like, uh -huh. it is it is coming so quickly to its limits in in terms of like where you are in a, in, a, in a very bad lit environment, like the entry of a of a cave. And then filming tilted upwards in direction of the sunlight, it's very hard. You see the difference from the footage, the quality of the footage from, from surface to underwater mm -hmm. is different. If you want to do it, I think there are some rules he could work on, um, which are as well uh, uh, valid for underwater. For example, keeping the sun in the back is yeah. is one, just to, to reduce the, the flares and the, the reflections in the lens. Um, but overall, I would reduce a little bit the... Um, the surface footage just because the underwater footage is much more powerful and, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. yeah and from story wise or, or supporting the, the whole the whole video I think it would be be wiser to put more effort in the in the underwater part mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Well, not all of the above, uh, like the top side footage, was taken with a GoPro. I guess, like the some drone. Yeah, footage the drone footage too. is not. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, I I do see I do see what you mean. Uh, Go on. It was like I do see what you mean, but I don't agree. Um, oh, I I just thought that for myself. I didn't <laughs> say that last. Uh, well, the other thing is is the 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 sequence or the the piecing together of mm -hmm. the video and the length of the video. Mm -hmm. I personally would have not uh, combined the two parts um, because I think the music kind of style is not really matching for the bull shark. Mm -hmm. it, it could be a little bit different. You can you can do it calm and, and, and peaceful, but I think not for, for, for both. Um, yeah, the overall length. With the kind of music, it's mm -hmm. very calming and it, it it fits the atmosphere and 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 and, uh, um, and the environment. Uh, but I think it's too long for that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, yeah, I would just shorten it a little bit or quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, absolutely. I also think that it would have made sense, uh, Jonas, to split it into different parts. You know, um, the bull shark part at the beginning is not in the same quality as the Sonotus part towards the end, like the, the, the main part, second part. So I would definitely keep those two apart. Don't mix them into one video. I know what you were trying to do. You were trying to do like a Yucatan video about the diving in Playa del Carmen and the Sonotus. I wouldn't do that. Keep it apart. Uh, have one video just with the bull sharks and have another one just with uh, the Sonotus. Maybe even have one with four each of the different Sonotus that you dived in. If, if it's difficult for you to pick just the best shots and, and to throw out a lot of the, the other shots, maybe that's a way how you can go about it, just to do a video for each of the sonatas that you've dived, so you can keep those videos rather short. It was like 11, what was it, 11 and a half minutes, something like yeah, that, I think. Minutes. Yeah, 11 yeah. minutes altogether. That's, that's a little too long. And I agree that the, food, the, the music chosen is a good fit for the sonatas, but on an 11, long, 11 minute long video, it's just a little too chilled and relaxed. Um, in a smaller, shorter video, perfectly fine, but not in such a long video. Also because the music is just the same throughout the entire uh, film from like the rhythm and, and everything like that. So 
yeah, definitely split them up. That's what I would do first. The uh, Sonatas part, if you want to shorten it down, do so. If you can't do that or don't want to do it, then just do like one video for each of the Sonatas that you dived in. And the first one, the Bull Sharks, just have that as a separate video. Uh, I think that would be the wise choice here. Um, and the music on the Bull Sharks, I would definitely change. I don't think the music, the calm music, fits to the imagery that we see with the Bull Sharks. Uh, you need something with a little more rhythm, I think, for that first part, for that separate video as I would create it. Yeah? If that's your opinion, yeah. Yeah, well. It's for, fair, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you for allowing me my opinion. But I was actually curious to hear what you think. Well, well, as I said, I'm, I'm the kind of stuff he used or the kind of shots he filmed for the Bullshark, I think calm music would work as well. If you want to put it like, like more in a majestic way, they are moving. It's hard to find something which really fits because like mm. we only saw a few shots of yeah. it. So it's, 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 I think it's really hard. And yeah, like... A more rhythmic music music is is easier to cut on and and, yeah. and, and show that this kind yeah. of footage. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? Do you have anything you would like to add? Um, no. You don't. Well then, Jonas, let me sum up our little review of your submission. We really enjoyed um, seeing how high quality shots you were able to get using a GoPro, specifically the second part, the shots that you were taking underwater in the cenotes, they really blew our mind. Um, we are very impressed with the quality that you got out of the GoPro. We also really enjoyed how stable your underwater shots are and uh, yeah, just the general quality of your shots underwater. We really enjoyed that. Things that we think you should be working on is the length of the video, uh, in our opinion, a little too long. Uh, ways to work around there is to just, you know, compress it and get rid of some repetitive shots and some not so good shots, or just divide it into individual separate clips, which is probably the better thing to do here. Um, and uh, then just make sure that you end up with a video which is let's say two to three minutes. Ideally, anything longer than that, I think is a little overkill um, with the scenery and stuff that we see here. So probably the best thing is to do work one video per sonata that you dived. So that's our feedback that we can give you for your video today. We hope that uh, you were able to get something out of this as well as everyone else watching this video out there as well. Um, if there's any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. We will always, as always, link Jonas' video down in the video description below as well as his YouTube channel. So you can hop over there and check out some other content that he's got on his YouTube channel. Now, if you would like us to review one of your videos, you can do... Um, you can do, you can send us an email to uh, contact at MatthiasLieber.com, put the link to your video um, in the email and a little description of what camera you use, kind of lights you use, red filter, uh, the location we're filming and all other stuff which is interesting for us and for the audience when reviewing your video. Excellent. Fantastic. And uh, we right now, we don't really have such a long wait time anymore. It's only about two to three months right now. So if you want to send us your video, we'll be able to uh, review it and publish it here on the channel within the said two to three months. Do um, you have anything else you would like to add? No. No, you all finished for today? Yes, I am. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for being with us today and watching this episode. Uh, have a great week. Keep capturing all those amazing underwater adventures of yours. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you back here on the channel for the next episode of Reviewing Your Underwater Films next Thursday. Have a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.